Happy Friday and welcome to Style Stories. I'm Kate Bellman, Senior Managing Editor here at Nordstrom, and most excitedly, I am joined today by Ebony Hi. Campbell, our Senior Stylist, our Editorial Styling Extraordinaire. So she is going to just lay all of her wealth of knowledge and styling tips on us today, which is perfect for today's topic, which is denim. Yes. A lot of happening in denim. So before we get there, if you haven't joined us before for an N Live or any uh, live stream event, want to give you some little information about what you might expect today. This is, after all, a shopping event. So what that means is, most importantly, all of this product I'm sharing with you today, Ebony is going to walk us through completely shoppable. So you are as much of a shopper as I am. Oh my gosh. I think. So yes. What's easier than just being able to see something cute, click it, add it to your bag, you're good to go. If you've joined us before, we have a whole new way of doing it that we're very excited about. So look within your chat, you're gonna get one link, one simple, easy link. Click through, all of the product we're showing you today will be right there. So just shop away from that uh, one single category and you're good to go. So if you're watching later in the week or you know at your desk during lunchtime, we won't tell anyone, you got the link up there, just shop away. All right, secondly, we are coming to you today live from our Seattle flagship store. So we are talking to you real time. We want to hear from you. There is a chat going the entire time. So please leave comments. Let me know where you're watching from. I love when everyone shouts out from Hawaii or Chicago or wherever you might be in the world. Most importantly though, ask questions. We have Ebony here today. So she is going to tackle all of your denim styling Q&A. All right, now for today's event, we are going to be talking about all that's happening in the world of denim. Now there's so much newness happening in yes. this space, right? Yes, so I feel the year like of denim. Of, it's the year of denim. I appreciate you saying that. I feel like we kind of went through the pandemic, we made it through our sweatpants. Yep. Now we're into denim, but what I think is so fun is there's new different silhouettes, like designers are really having fun in this space, right? Absolutely, there's so much newness in denim. It's really exciting, you know, from just taking traditional washes into different cuts and seeing denim in different silhouettes that we've never seen before. Yes, now speaking of new silhouettes we've never seen before, there's one older silhouette that I think we're ready to retire. It's the skinny jean, right? Yeah. It's how to stay in the sun. Yeah. It's, it's been about a decade plus. That's a long time that's for a, a long denim time. silhouette to hang in there. So yeah. if you're still a skinny fan, it's okay. There's still plenty of ways to wear them. But today we're going to really focus on the newness, what's going to take you forward for the spring summer season, right? We're all good? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We've got a lot to talk about, so we're just going to dive in. Okay. Skinny obviously was our workhorse. We went yes. out with everything. Monday to Friday, all weekend long, dressed up, dressed down. She took us everywhere. She took us everywhere. We're not left without that, though, anymore, Absolutely. right? So I want to introduce, if I haven't already, to everyone, the straight leg. The straight leg is basically our new skinny silhouette, right? Yes. Goes everywhere, goes with everything. So I'm just going to start passing you. You've pulled some great um, styling pieces to go back to it. So talk us through how we're wearing straight legs this season. Yes, yeah, so to your point about the straight leg being our new staple, really, just like our skinny kind of carried us for, the straight will do the same thing. Yep. And all those classic kind of outfits that we did with the skinny, we can still do with the straight okay. leg. So I love the idea of pairing it back to a simple button up. Pretty. But we're leaning into a really fun print uh -huh. because we're having such fun with prints this summer yep. in a very abstract and beautiful way. And instead of your traditional woven poplin, kind of like what I'm wearing, yep. I went with something silky so because great. you can dress it up, you can dress it down. The print is in so incredibly fun. What I love so much about this is that it looks beautiful fully tucked, mm -hmm. half tucked. I was going to ask, are we tucking, are we not tucking? Yes, okay. and it's all up into your proportion, what you feel comfortable with. I, I'm i usually all the way tucked yep. or half tucked okay. because I need to show some waist. Yep. You know, if my torso is really short, so I have to show that I have some waist in there. Now, talk me too also, we're, we're straying a little bit from denim, but it's all about the styling and getting mm -hmm. your period. Yeah, I'm always really curious, am I buttoning all the way to the top these days? Am I going as low as I feel like I can go? What's happening kind of with that neckline too? Yeah, the neckline is, to your point, it's low, but more importantly, just the overall vibe is very easy. Okay. You know, we're not buttoning all buttons. Sometimes maybe it's two, maybe it's even just one. Okay. And okay. just really just covering ourselves yeah. up and making it just so incredibly effortless. Yep. And what's great about this shirt is that there's a dressed up and polished feeling to it, but it's still fun with the print. Yep. And then so you can pretty. still make it easy 
with how you button it. Yeah, I love this one. And I love to the, like you're showing us today, the layering necklaces. Yes. So that's a great way to kind of bring it all together. Yes, get some wear it really open, in. layer your favorite necklaces, Perfect. your heritage necklaces. All of mine have been passed down, so oh, it's so that. nice to be able I to show that. it off when you can. Very special. Yes. Um, ivory denim. I'm seeing quite a bit happening in ivory denim. I think we're, you know, a lot of times we think of white denim mm -hmm. as very high summer, very kind of polished ladies who lunge. This has definitely become a, a year-round staple. It's not just a spring-summer um, color anymore, right? So here we have from A Gold, a uh, great brand in the space, just making really kind of fashion but casualized denim. But I love what you've done here. So I excited. mean, this is just... And any day going to the grocery store. Yes. Just throwing some right? bedazzled, right? Just bedazzled for day. So I love, I love this idea because I feel like traditionally, right, we think about sequins and anything shiny for the nighttime. Yep, yep. But I love this idea of bringing it in the daytime. This is totally something that, especially as fashion girls, we can wear to work. Totally. And depending on, like, what your profession is, it's definitely a day-to-night situation. Yeah. I love the idea of just wearing it with a straight something super simple and minimal like this strappy flat sandal Pretty. for the daytime yep. and then even like taking the same idea and adding a little heel mm -hmm. leaving it open really nicely and adding a lip and just like that you can take it to a really nice cocktail party so cute really pretty i mean i might even like call me crazy pair it with like can't converse all yes. stars to make it really casual yes too. it's that juxtaposition of totally. you know fancy and casual that just really represents our lives right now yeah. to be honest i think too my friends and sister might get a good laugh about you saying we we would wear this to work because we can wear something like this to work understanding not everyone yes. can so my sister always gets a little chuckle about what she sees me wearing to work it's so. like oh that's a work top totally. fun <laughs> yes um all right a gold again i have another pair for the men also straight leg but this pair is definitely more fashion forward mm -hmm. talk me through slouch your leg and what's happening around that waistband there yeah so we have a little bit more of a fashion forward waistband that kind of feels like a little bit more of like an upcycled feeling yep, right yep. where we maybe took something old and repurposed it so i love that idea and because this is a little bit more of a fashion forward leaning slouchy straight leg jean yep. i kind of wanted to go classic here yep so show me yes so we're pairing her back to a very minimal thin rib tank uh-huh um we're Tanks are all the rage. Okay. Everything is about being very simplistic, but yeah. then adding that wow factor. Yeah. And so for me, the jean is the wow factor. Uh -huh. So we'll pair it back to something simple. And then for a third piece, let's just bring out our moto jacket that so many of us have in our closet totally, yeah. and so many of us want to invest in because yep. it's really a style that can carry You'll us forward. Forever. You'll have it forever. So for a classic style that we love so much, it's so great to juxtapose it with something that feels really fresh, new, and edgy. Yep, yep. With the moto, are we going, if we don't have have one yet is it kind of more are we in an oversized phase or do you think they're a little more slimmer and it's almost like two different extremes okay yes yeah. we're, we're really oversized and then we're also shrunken okay. with our jacket love it and so the great part about that is that you can really kind of pick which side of the spectrum on the extreme moto that you really want to go yep that makes sense i have one more question about the pair so we have just kind of your classic straight leg every day this is definitely a little more extreme, a little more slouchy. What's happening around the hem? Are we wearing them kind of long and loose? Are we rolling them? Oh What's my gosh, with, uh, it's the options lunches? are endless. Okay. So I, because I'm a shorty, I will roll mines so that I can wear flats. Okay. You know, yep. but at the same time, I could still wear flats, unroll them, and they can puddle. Puddle, What's okay. great about this pair, you see this like really beautiful little kind of distressed yep. details all along the sides, all along the bottoms here. And this is great because when it scrapes the ground, who cares? Who cares? It just gets even better. Some people pay more for that Some one. people pay more and for that. We, we and you do can do it, do it naturally. I love it. I love it. So yeah, for that, I feel like wear it puddled, wear it dirty on the ground, or cuff it up really nice and get a little ankle play there. Okay. Now you mentioned puddle. That's something I feel like I'm seeing a lot from the editors and the fashion blogs and all of that in our, uh, you know, our kind of fashion newsletters. Talk to me about what's happening in this puddle. This is a pair from BDG, literally called the Puddle Super High Waist yes. Wide Leg. So it's definitely kind of a dramatic silhouette, right? Absolutely. Now this really reminds me of just kind of that Y2K leaning yes, that we've totally. been getting because then we were doing things that were super, remember those Janko jeans, sure everything do. was super long sure and do. talking about being scraping on the ground and getting yes. holy. So that's really where we're leaning here. I love this because it's got that almost like 
traditional classic blue tone yeah. to it and there's no rips in it so if your fear of distress, this is a really great way to kind of tip your toe into a different silhouette without feeling a little bit too edgy okay. and out of your comfort zone. Now you really went for it and paired it back to, I believe we call it a Canadian tuxedo, I did, right? I for did. Friends up north. So talk me through, I mean, there's many other jokes about Canadian tuxedos, but I think it looks so chic sometimes it's so when it's put chic. together, right? And oh we my saw gosh. quite a bit of it like on street style coming out of this last fashion week too. So Absolutely. how do you pull it together that it feels kind of refined and polished and chic as we said and not not you know, just not yeah. cartoonish. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So I think the biggest takeaway is that we're seeing now with t Canadian tuxedos, it's not so your traditional trucker denim jacket yeah, anymore, yeah. but because we're seeing so much playfulness happening in denim in different silhouettes, we can take something like this beautiful chore jacket, really nice with the huge pockets, kind of makes it feel really utility. And I love that both of these denims kind of play off of each other. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit darker, this one's a little lighter, but it's both got that classic orange threading that really ties it together. I love that. That's now what I love so much about this look is, again, when we talk about like the ease of buttoning, yep. it's super oversized, very boxy, so why don't we do just one button? Right, okay. Very easy, okay. get a little bit of breath up in here, yep, yep. kind of something to like open up so that you could put your hands in your pockets and feel very effortless. And since she puddles and we're so oversized yep. and a little bit more masculine, I would love the idea of pairing her back to a very minimal heel. Okay. You know, just... So let your outfit do the talking and then back to something very simple and... Minimal. Yes, okay. let it puddle and just like something really simple and elevated at the bottom. Yep. Now when you're doing the head to toe denim, because we also have another version over on our front yes. there. Are we matching washes? Are we matching materials? Like, how are you pulling that together? I love the tip on the, the thread yes. matching and not really pulling it together. So that's a great question. So I'm not mad at mixing two different colors okay. of denim because we see that right outside of denim when we talk yeah. about monochromatic outfits, yeah. right? You know, you might mix like a brighter pink with a lighter pink right. and it still feels very harmonious. The biggest thing is the tone. Okay. So because it has this orange tint, like, stitching here that really ties it together. This is a little faded, but as you can tell, the tones are still the same. Yep, yep. There isn't one that's colder or warmer than the other. Yes. And the same thing here, she's not the same, but it still feels very harmonious and light. Like almost like, it doesn't need to feel like you came from the same family, right. but it's like when you find your friend totally. and it's like, where have you been all my You're life? Your chosen family. Your chosen I family. Like I like it. I'm also gonna start borrowing your word harmonious. <laughs> I love that. This all feels very harmonious. Yes, this should be a harmony to our pairing. Now, talking about like harmony, love, peace, all that, flare legs. Okay, so we saw them big time in the 70s. Yes. Definitely made a comeback in the 90s. So there's definitely a feeling of kind of nostalgia, retro, and they are back once again with us today. So two great pairs that we have. First up from Seven, All Mankind. This is really like an exaggerated, long, I mean, you're actually getting that sort of skinny mm -hmm. leg shape and then with the, the dramatic flare on the bottom. So talk me through how we're wearing flares. This, this is when I'm always a little nervous about not feeling, looking too sort of of a certain era or, you know, make it feel modern and fresh. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I love the idea of leaning into the 70s vibe with giving her a little bit more of a feminine top. Yep. But the newness is that we have a little bit shorter of a top here so we can tuck or leave out, okay. which would be really great. And we're again getting into that playful prints that we're talking about. So it's bold, it's beautiful. Yep. You have these really beautiful romantic sleeves. And what I love about the volume at the top is to your point about how skinny the legs right. get. You get this beautiful voluminous top going on and then you get to suck it in in your waist yep. and really show off those beautiful hips. Okay. What's great about this pair is that they're so long and stiff that any single person, short or tall, will look long and just long, beautiful, and feel very, very flattering. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't that want that? That's fantastic. And great little top from Farm Rio. I mean, this is just like summer on a blouse for me. Isn't it's it? Fantastic. It makes you happy. It does make me happy. Bold, crazy prints and color make <laughs> me happy. Um, up next from Good American. I love this brand. It's size inclusive. Mm -hmm. It has its broad range of sizes. Um, this is kind of more casual flair, I'd say, right? Yes. Whereas the seven was a little more statement, the elongated. This is something that feels a little more casual. So tell me about how you paired uh, back to that. 
Yeah, so I love the idea of, again, juxtaposing style. So because she feels a little bit more casual in her wash, yep. the fit is still what gives us our like polish, yeah. right? So I'm gonna mix her with a more polished mock neck top, something that feels really new and modern. It has these great little cutouts on the side that just give a little peekaboo of our side. Super flattering because of the tucking and the ruching that's happening. It kind of tucks in our side. Yep. I would leave this out so you can see the beautiful ties. Okay. And it kind of gives us like polish, newness at the top, but still really like, you know, every day at the bottom. Yeah. She's casual, but she feels polished. And and shoe-wise, back to a flare, I mean, they tend to be a little longer. Mm -hmm. So if, if you, you know, we obviously offering um, hemming services with our tailoring at yes. the store. So that's easy. Highly to recommend. But you do want to keep them a little longer, right? So you yes. most likely are wearing some sort of lift. You're definitely going to wear a lift. I love the idea and I wouldn't necessarily pair these exactly with this look, yeah. but I love the idea of almost like a simple like flat form platform. So see how this is just like a really cute little mule. It's not a huge elevation, right? right? It's not totally. like a four inch heel, yeah, yeah. but it gives you some great height. Completely. And the thing about the flares is that unlike our puddle jeans, these we want seamless. We yep. want to just like hit the ground yep. nice, Good to know. not too high, not puddled on the ground right. because it wanted to, it, we want to get that really elongated, yes, very like polished, right. yeah, sharp look. Totally. Okay. Love that. Um, all right. I feel like we've kind of covered the, the new basics. So yes. from our straight to our wide to the flare, like this is what's really taking over just your everyday denim wardrobe, right? But a lot happening in new coloration, mm -hmm. different kind of shapes and categories so want to first show two things happening in this jean I'm calling out one the color so like our ivory friend it's sort of an alt to the classic denim wash and secondly that cargo pocket right so we, we, we talked about sort of the return to the 90s the y2k moment yes. I for sure had my cargo assortment in the early 2000s so why is it coming back around at this very moment? So I think uh, there's a few things, right? I feel like we've seen this bubbling of utility kind of rising throughout the years yeah. in different fabrications. We start car we started seeing cargos kind of move into the tailoring space a okay. little bit, like seeing it in more like dressed up wear. Yep. And I think because we talked about it being the year of denim, yeah. is that we're really just exploring all of these different great silhouettes that we love in a denim and with denim fabric. Yeah. And cargo is no different than I that. I think you're totally right. Like things where I would see us just in trousers and mm -hmm. regular pant shapes, designers are really in brands just playing around with now denim and making that feel kind of new and interesting with these details. Absolutely. So, the cargo denim is by far my most exciting piece well, of the season. Any, you know, so it's definitely like a reason to buy. For yes, me, exciting, that's some newness for you. Talk me through what you've done here. This looks so just clean, sophisticated. Right? Yeah. Very minimal, very easy. Another really great easy work look. Yep. Something also too that you can take on the weekend. Yep. So I say like a simple easy heel, even a nice beautiful flat that's uh -huh. a little bit more polished yep. for work. Really pretty. Um, you can wear something like a little simple shell underneath. I love the idea of just keeping it closed and wearing it super minimal. Again, showing off those necklaces. Yep. Wearing the vest as a top very pretty. is like such the vibe yeah, right just now. Just like some pretty gold hoop yes. earrings or something very kind yes. of Yes, like I something substantial but simple. Yes, clean. Love it. All right. Skirts, shorts, Somewhere, oh my. <laughs> somewhere, not in Seattle, but somewhere the temps are getting a little yes. warmer. It's starting to feel like spring, summer. So Hopefully soon for us. Hopefully soon. soon. Definitely starting to see that rise of the, of the denim skirt mm -hmm. is coming. Again, something that was a staple for me sort of through Y2K, but it is absolutely coming back in full form and multiple lengths. So walk me through. We have this cute little mini here Cutie. from uh, Topshop, of course. Talk me through this uh, look here. Cute. So again, skirts are having a moment. So I, it's almost like every silhouette, th silhouette that's having a moment, put it in denim. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly totally. what's happening. And so what I love here is that instead of making her a little bit more casual, yep. I wanted to polish her up. And I love the idea of kind of like this edge to edge idea, cropping it and then having the waist uh -huh. meet exactly where the, sh like where the blazer hits. Okay. 
Even something as like a simple little white t-shirt could yeah, be cute, cute and your favorite cute little sneakers for work. Yep. And again, maybe it's a cute loafer right. to kind of polish and her like up again. Flat, mm -hmm. maybe. I like, love the return of the ballet yes, flat right now. Very Parisian chic. Very Parisian chic. Yes, I love that. And then if you're not sort of ready to, you know, you're not going to dare to bear, I'm not a mini skirt person, but I love myself a mm -hmm. pencil skirt. So we have options there too. These from Denim Wash Lab. Talk me through this pink top. Pink, obviously, the color of the season. Pink right? is the color of the season. Such you a are pretty so top right. and sod. So how are we, you're not tucking in, right? I'm We're guessing. not tucking okay. in. And that's what I love so much about this top with the pencil skirt. Yep. So again, to your point, the pencil skirt, I would say, is probably one of the most flattering silhouettes for every single woman on okay. the planet. Like, it just makes you look bomb. Yeah. Like, simple, simply put. And so what I love about that is that we can take this voluminous, really beautiful pink top and put it over it. Because right now Pretty. we're not necessarily tucking everything in. Right, right. And since this is high waisted and this kind of cinches you here, you still get the idea of having some waist interest, yeah. but a little bit of a newness, right? right? It's not so obvious totally. of just tucking in my blouse to my skirt. Yeah, I love that. So it still gives you kind of that still hourglass. Hourglass, effect. yes, right. absolutely. It's almost like a take on the new look. <laughs> but modern. I love it. I love it. What shoes are you doing with the pencil skirt? I would keep her super, super minimal. Okay. Just like a nice, easy mule to kind of elongate that foot. Since the skirt is longer, you want to keep as much leg out as you can, especially since we're not tucking in our yeah. top. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Going to cruise through the denim short. Tried and true classic. Mm -hmm. Everybody has them. This again from uh, BDG, the Urban Outfitters brand. Love this little pop of color from Ula Johnson that right. you pulled there. Just How fun. Easy, effortless. Easy, effortless. Yes. I see this worn with like a really beautiful wrap around rope sandal. Yeah, pretty. Kind of mixing in different colors and textures there. Really Adding cute. some craft like details yeah. could be great. And a straw I, bag or exactly. something. Exactly. Yeah, really it's a cute. beautiful weekend look. Also a really great vacation look. Yeah. Easy. And we, I mean, you really could tuck or leave out, right? Absolutely. It's sort of easy Absolutely. top silhouette. Perfect. Very cute. And then a couple more things. The denim jacket, I think we all probably have, and I don't know anyone in my life who doesn't have it. Just an easy trucker. It's a staple. Staple jean jacket. But some new things happening here, too. So much like what's happening on our bottom half, top half really exploding some new um, kind of iterations of, of the denim look. So. Love this blazer from Nili Lotan. Yes. Like really from far away, you can't even tell that it's denim. Right? right? It's just such a beautiful tailored blazer. Mm -hmm. And then it's made with this really nice, nice dark, kind of natural raw denim. So yeah. there's no stretch to it. It's just really beautiful, like almost like cut straight off the roll. Right. And like put together in a very tailored way. I love the idea of pairing her back with like a faux leather pant. Yep, pretty. Kind of mixing those textures feels really nice. Yep. She feels really elevated. Another really great work look that you can take tonight. Totally. I would love to see like a woven under here, pop the collar, yep. worn really low. Pretty. Or again, wearing the blazer as a jack or yep. as a top there could be go. really chic. Well, I also love, I mean, I know we're talking all denim, but this the faux leather bottom and this kind of easy five pocket, I feel like has become like a new sort of take on denim that we're wearing. It is. You know, Bringing in and out, just Bring like in all and of our jeans. All right, and then lastly, more ivory denim. Also important in the jacket space. Love this version from our friends at Free People. We the Free. Talk to me about this like perfect vacation outfit. How cute! So, cute. so I love the idea of bringing back that mini that we talked about because yep. skirts are happening. This is a really cute wrapped kind of idea with a beautiful playful print again and it looks so cute with this oversized distressed jacket so because this is so girly this is kind of giving me more of a little bit I mean, masculine yeah, feeling yeah. oversized so it's nice to kind of mix the juxtaposition of really girly pretty and just a little bit effortless yeah. and you know who cares easy at the top totally. and I would pair her back to just like a super simple sandal also a really great way to pop a color here. Yep, okay, perfect. I love her. I mean, I'm just looking at our friends over here. We have first the, the white blouse back to the pistola denim. I mean, for me, like an easy uniform is always Absolutely. some version of a white blouse, whether it's playful and feminine, like uh, that top, or just a white poplin, like something easy back to denim. Absolutely. Always. But walk us through a little bit more. I'm still trying to take mental notes about the head-to-toe denim. Mm -hmm. This one is definitely more kind of polished even 
potentially appropriate for work. Oh, back to totally, office. totally. So again, another take on our Canadian tuxedo, but a little bit more new, right? So we're talking about our oversized, like wide leg cargo denim. Love this pair from Frame. Yep. Definitely need to get a pair. And then we paired her back to this really pretty denim stod blazer. And it, it's funny because you would honestly think that they came from the same brand, but they didn't. The washes are just like, they marry so well together. Yeah. They're super buttery, super light. And I paired it back to, again, we talked about like that denim kind of uniform. Yep. Paired her back to the white poplin. And I think what the newness is with the poplin and the blazer is popping that collar out. Okay. We're leaving it low and instead of tucking it in, we're popping it out, really showing it off and showing off the cuffs. Yeah. Again, leaning into that little bit of a 70s vibe that we talked about. And I would leave the pants just super long, hitting the ground. Okay. Maybe it's a simple boot. Maybe it's like our platform shoe, depending on your height, yeah. so that yeah. you can really get that long, like long kind of hemline without it puddling on the ground. Right. I don't feel like she's a puddle. Yeah. I feel like she's a little bit more polished. Refined. Yes, yeah. more refined. And so the hem kind of will depend on how tall you are. Well, I think especially with the cargo, which mm -hmm. could be a little more casual, it is nice to give it that mix of... Yes, dressed up. Totally. And that's why I also like it with the blazer. Because yeah. it really kind of, again, gives us that dressed down, dressed up. I feel like that's all where we're at right now as fashion is juxtaposing this high, this low, yep. this femme, this masculine, yep. oversized and more fitting. It's this really, it's this balance that we're all trying to get to. I'm glad you said that that was the best cheat sheet of, of, of all time if I was to kind of like give a Cliff's Notes version of some of your styling caps. It really is that mix. Like mm -hmm. we don't want to be all of one thing oversized back to slim or yes. you know, kind of more fitted or sporty back to something really yes. pretty and polished and to, to really get that mix like work both sides of your closets absolutely i mean none of us are one thing right and so i think that's the what's so fun about fashion yes. right now is that you really get to pull on all of your styles and kind of mix it together yeah, perfect we didn't talk much about accessories we talked a little bit about the bold earring, really pretty gold mm -hmm. layering. I love your reference of bringing in old heirlooms and really making kind of a play on uh, jewelry layering there. Talk a little bit about the handbags because I'm seeing yes. a lot of small little guys over there. Yes, so I'm going to talk about this really cute so Rebecca Minkoff. So first of all, let's just talk about the color. Yeah. Oh my God. It's super bright, very fun, and as you notice, like the hardware is the same color as. The bag yeah. which is really fun so you get this like monochromatic structured bag so right now everything is just like a structured mini uh -huh. super tight like you know this is not going to squish at all right she's staying the same yep. and we've got the long line of chain to kind of go around with it now this is a really great idea to pop some color right with your Canadian tuxedo. Totally, yeah. I love it back to that, like you get the kind of mm -hmm. one tone there and that really gives it sort of a statement. Absolutely, pop. Yeah. absolutely. Like we're still popping colors and Perfect. I find it very fun. So the next one I wanna talk about is just this really great traditional yep. mini tote so from Coach. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's one of those bags that again, I feel like Right now, we're playing with so many different styles and making them balance together, but the biggest thing I notice is the investments that we're okay. making. Yep. There's some really great, minimal, classic investments going yep. around that we're really just talking about things that are gonna carry us through. Totally, and I think, like, I keep hearing quiet luxury, like that term. Oh my God, up. yes. I know that's big on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I mean, anyone who watches Succession. Succession is a big new fan of quiet luxury. So it definitely, it's about kind of having these pieces that are, made to last for yes. the investment and, and it is earth month so why not talk about the sustainability factor absolutely there for sure. you know really making conscious choices yep. of things that are going to carry us from now until forever absolutely and then pass it down like absolutely your absolutely Love and i coach is a really great brand for that yep. they make really great leather pieces that your grandmother could give you and you could still rock completely um, this I really love because love we're getting into that craft detail that yeah. I talked about earlier, but still mixing it with that very structured and kind of traditional tote that yeah. we were talking about. So it's like taking like a nice little spring element of just like this hand woven kind of situation with a very like almost like hand dyed too. It's almost like a hand dyed leather, yeah. but then mixing it with something that's very traditional. It's really pretty. I love that one. I love the mini tote. Well, I've gotten all my questions out. I've been very selfish. So I'm going to turn it over to our friends watching afar. I think we have some questions coming in. 
First up, from Susie Strunk, I love, love, love your playful print shirt from the 70s. I'm from the 70s, so I, a lot of good things coming Yay. from the 70s, Susie. That's great to hear. <laughs> uh, Carolyn A. Love almost, um, almost missed it. It's my favorite. Cleo Wilson, jeans are a jeans that are a wow factor. I think she's asking what jeans are a wow factor. Yes. Yeah, so we don't have many that are here, but we did talk a little bit about the bedazzled for day. Yep. And we are seeing a lot of bedazzlement and embellishments on jeans. Okay. As well as printed jeans. Okay. So I would say those are if we're looking for something that's like trendy. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. You step out. Yeah. Golden Goose has a really beautiful pair okay. of like rhinestone wow. denim. All right. Yeah. Like kind of like this like washed really like like bleach denim Pretty. but dazzled with different rhinestones all up on here in the bottom okay. and that that is a big wow that's factor. That's a wow factor. I wouldn't say I mean I think like not as wowy but they're definitely a stray from your typical denim. Yeah. Like the cargo or the a gold that had the um, kind of exaggerated yes. waistband that, like, so a little wowy. Yeah, yeah I think wow th there's a spectrum of wow right and how kind of trendy and so crazy you might get with your outfit. So I would say if you're a traditional kind of skinny, everyday, traditional blue, that A gold, different kind of a waistband yeah. is your wow. Perfect. If you're a girl that's been wearing straight for the last five years, try the, something new. Try something try new. Try a new wow. Yes. I love it. Um, well, we have Kelly, and I hope I don't butcher your name, Machard, Machard, saying, oh, Ebony, please style me. I love Kelly. I would love to. <laughs> well, we can't hand you out to everyone, unfortunately, or I would clone a million Ebony's for sure. But like I said, if you click into the link with all of the product that we show today, also has a link to our complimentary styling yes. services. You make an appointment, you come in the stores, easy breezy. It's like having Ebony in your back pocket at all times. They're also amazing. Um, BK Holly R said, any outfit suggestions for a hot girl summer night out? Ooh. Wow. What jeans are Kate wearing? So two questions. So real quick, my jeans are Kate. It's the brand <laughs> K-H-A-I-T-E, not to be confused with my actual name. <laughs> um, but great brand. They carry a lot of very, I think, elevated kind of basics mm -hmm. and timeless classics that have a great uh, sort of line of denim. Um, I'm a mom of two, so I'm going to let you take, Ebony, the hot girl summer outfits from Holly. Yes, so hot girl summer. So we're talking low-waisted denim for this one. Okay. I know. Okay. Who knew that low-waisted was going to come I'm back? I'm pretending not to hear you, but I'm, I'm really open-minded. So hear me out. Imagine nice low-waisted jean, kind of relaxed, again baggy, a really slinky, simple, minimal heel, okay. stiletto for this, okay. and then we'll add some sparkle to the top. All right. Maybe it's a sparkle crop top. I know okay. there's a really great kind of um, payette top that we have from Alice and Olivia okay. right now that's just like kind of hits right here, all silver, low baggy jeans, and a really great heel. Okay. Now, if low waisted is a little bit too much, yeah. let me tell you, I'm not doing low waisted. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to do high waisted, and I'm going to do my high waisted flares. Okay. Still kick it with the same kind so of I'll idea. Pull out an example. Yes. Here. Okay. My high waisted flares, yep. still with the same kind of cropped little payette top. Okay. Feels so very fancy, easy. I might even add a chain belt could be really great Very cute. and again back to a really beautiful minimal heel yeah I'd like to know where Holly's going I would too I'm like can we out. go with you I know I might need a joy I need a hot girl summer night cocktail with an umbrella inside yes. sounds fantastic well those are fantastic questions thank you everyone for asking if you are watching later in the week feel free to still drop them in the chats I'll stop by and like I said we have a link for our fantastic styling program on top of all of the great products we showed you today so check that out um, and that's it for today. That was oh, a great that show. That was so fun. I am so appreciative for you being Thanks here. Thanks for having me, love. I can tap Ebony anytime I want. So I am very happy to share her wide grieving talents and POV with the you rest are of the so world. You're so sweet. So thank you very much. Um, everyone else, please join back in a month. So for May, it's actually, I think, going to be the week before Memorial oh Day gosh. weekend, which means summer is just around the corner summer vacation is just around Can't the wait. corner so we're gonna be talking packing essentials okay from swim to boardwalk to sunny days ahead we're gonna tackle all of that so all right everyone thank you for joining thank you Ebony for joining take care and happy shopping happy shopping Yay, bye